This video is going to show you the financials for a 50 kilowatt commercial solar system. If you're thinking of solar, this is the essence of it. This is a demonstration in the form of a video of our financial modeling process. It will show you some actual numbers about what a solar power system costs and how much it will benefit you. A lot of people have misconceptions about solar power, so before I jump into the financial model, here are some points clarified. Solar is not your only source of power. You still keep the grid and therefore have a stable power supply. You can't eliminate your bill. You still have costs on your power bill, which don't necessarily vary according to your electricity consumption. For example, there are fixed daily rates and charges based on peak demand called KVA, amongst others. In addition, when the sun isn't shining, you pay for the power that you use. Solar isn't a switched system. So it's not as if your business runs on solar power, then that switches off and it runs on the grid again. I call this the Toyota Prius view of the world. In reality, it is more of a blending of sources, grid power and solar power. Your solar panels are always producing power as long as there is light. If the sun isn't shining, it doesn't provide power and you will then run off grid power. When it's cloudy, it still provides some power and in all cases, it just blends with your existing grid power supply. So you always have a full supply of clean electricity. That system is passive. You don't need to do anything. A steel fabricator once said to me, solar won't work for us. We pull an amazing amount of power. Solar is not trying to supply all of that power. Just diminish your demand from the grid. Okay. Here's an example and those numbers. Let's say you're looking at a 50 kilowatt system just for the sake of an example. Let's say you have a metal roof and we put the panels on tilt frames and we use good quality components such as a top brand of solar panel and a good German inverter and a quality monitoring system. This system might consist of 200 panels and take up approximately 400 square meters of roof space if the system is installed flat on roof. So here are those actual numbers. The full cost of that system will be around $110,000, excluding GST. You then get a point of sale rebate for the STCs, which are created and are worth around $35,000. So it becomes an out-of-pocket cost of around $75,000. Underlying our model is an assumption about how much power is produced. We know how much power any given system size produces because we can observe it by monitoring and the Clean Energy Council has published some average output data for different regions. This output will vary day by day, season by season, but will be correct year by year. Based on the Clean Energy Council guidelines for Sydney, a 50 kilowatt system will produce around 195 kilowatt hours per day. When we create a financial model, we're fairly conservative about saying what this output is. We also reduce this around the number of work days that your business has because it is only power that is used as it is produced that matters and you don't get paid for exported power in most commercial scenarios. So on a 50 kilowatt system, the output is around 195 kilowatt hours a day. We analyze what you pay for power and this is not 100% intuitive from your power bill. We look at the variable costs which are made up from three categories of your bill. The main rate, the network charges, then the ancillary charges. In many businesses, this will all add up 
to be between 11 and 25 cents per kilowatt hour. This is the value of power to you, as you are substituting self-generated solar power for grid power. In our model, we run an analysis where we say power will rise by a certain percent per year. So, here's an example of the savings. Year one, year two, year three, and so on. We then map this out compared to the initial investment and we get a graph that shows this payback. Let's say you borrowed money to put the system on. Using the cost of finance, we will also model that and this will have two impacts. First, it makes it easier to buy, sometimes with no initial capital outlay. Second, it extends the payback by a year or so due to interest payments. When we create the financial model, the purpose is as a prediction of how solar will perform for you. So we need to take into account a range of factors. Here are some of the things that we cover. We feel this makes it pretty accurate. And what it shows you is that solar will deliver for you. So to work out how solar will work for you, we need to start with a conversation about four things. Your roof space, your power usage, the rate you pay for power, and your timeline. If a payback of four to seven years will be suitable for you, great, let's talk. We can put together a financial model in the form of a solar business case, just for you. As positive as we are about solar, there are a couple of instances where we think it won't make sense. Here's three examples. A lack of clear roof space can make things difficult. Some office buildings could put solar on, but it may be relatively small compared to their usage. A lack of usage can limit solar's usefulness, as you need to be consuming the power that it generates to make it economically viable. Even if you have a large roof, but if you don't use a lot of power, then solar may not suit. Take as an example a storage warehouse. It may have a great roof, but use just a few lights and little else, so the power produced would be exported for little or no benefit. A third reason that solar might not suit is that you don't have the right time frame. You might be in a short-term lease or thinking of moving. If you can't see yourself being in the premises for at least five years or so, the decision becomes clouded. Some industries are well suited for solar. For example, manufacturing, food processing, many primary industries, golf clubs, RSLs, refrigeration, mechanical workshops, engineering and fabrication, some warehousing, offices, and anywhere that has a regular power load. So if you have a roof space, high power usage, and a view of the world that extends past five years, solar will most likely be great for you. The returns on investment in commercial solar are very attractive and can often exceed 20% per year. The returns are also highly predictable, which makes the investment low risk. All in all, a pretty compelling case, we think. The figures here for a 50 kilowatt system can be extrapolated for a 100 kilowatt system as long as your roof space and power consumption allow for that. The return on investment is the same, just the investment size changes. Over 100 kilowatts, things change and STCs change to a different system called LGCs which are not available as an upfront point of sale discount. For this reason, 100 kilowatts is a sweet spot for many businesses. We've actually developed a stringent methodology to develop the solar business case. And this is how we can demonstrate to you how solar power will perform financially. If this video made sense and you'd like a chat, call me, Stuart Gordon, on 0424 225 
If this video makes no sense at all, but you're still listening and you'd like to chat about solar, call me on 0424 225 097. Thank you.